To use the split by item, click on your split by item button and you will be taken to a screen that has the original chit and then spots for up to 99 new chits which you'll be moving items onto. So to move your first item, choose the item by clicking once or tapping once on it, then click on the chit or the order that you wish to move it to. To split an item in half, so for example if an appetizer or a bottle of wine was split, click split an item, then choose the item you wish to split, then click again on the first check that should be splitting this item. You'll see a 1 out of 1 fraction appear, on which time you can click on the next check that should be splitting the item, and that fraction will be going up. So right now 1 out of 2 going to this check, 1 out of 2 going to this check, and I could click on the third one to make it 1 out of 3 and split something 3 ways. When you're done splitting the item, click Done Item Split. Now before we split this check, we have to assign each order to a member or a guest. The first one is already assigned as it was opened and that's the one that the items were sent to the kitchen under, but the second one has not been assigned because it still says CHIT2 at the top. So tap or click the CHIT2 and then choose a member or hit OK for a non-member that will be responsible for the second split. Once you've assigned all of your checks and you've split your items accordingly, you can click split or you can click split and print which will print a copy of the new chit. If you click split, you'll notice now on your table layout that the table says multi. When I click on that table, it will ask me which order I'd like to go to and if I click on the order, I can see that everything has been split 0.5, 1, and 1, and my total and my taxes and service charges will be calculated accordingly. The even split is used to split a chit into equal portions for each member or guest to take on without taking on individual items. So to use it from within the chit, click the even split button. The first thing it will ask you for is how many chits are you splitting this into today? Key in the number and hit OK. And then it will ask you for the second member. So the first member is the one that was assigned to the check originally. The second member you will either have to type in their member number, find them from the list, or hit OK for a guest. Once you've chosen your second member, you can choose to either split or split and print a copy of each new chit. And you'll see now it takes you to the first member and it will have applied a credit of the amount of half of the total of the chit to this one, which you can then charge and close. And then it will take you right to the second member where again it will have applied a credit of half the amount of the original chit, which you can then charge and close. You must settle and close these chits right away. You cannot add more items, combine them, or split them again once they've been split evenly. To use the split by seat, after confirming that all of your items have been assigned to their correct seat on the chit, click split by seat and then key in the first member number that should be responsible for one of the seats on this chit. Then key in the seat number that this member is responsible for and hit OK. If the member is responsible for more than one seat, you can key in the second seat number that that member should be responsible for and hit OK again. When you're done assigning seats to this member, hit Done, and the keyboard will pop up for you to choose the next member who will be splitting items on this chit. Key in their member number or hit OK for a non-member, then hit OK after you've keyed in the seat number that they should be responsible for. Once again, if they are responsible for two seat numbers, you'll have to hit OK twice after keying in those seat numbers, then hit Done. Hit Done when you've completed assigning all seats on this chit and you'll get a summary giving you the member number, name and the seat numbers that they're responsible for. If this is the correct split, hit OK to split or hit split and print to print copies of these new tickets. And then you'll see on this table it says multi and you'll be able to choose each person that you've split this ticket by and you'll see any item that went to that seat number that they were assigned, in this case 3 and 4 will be on this new ticket. Once the split is complete, you have the ability to add or edit this new ticket. The quick split is used to split a check up to 25 different ways evenly. To use it, click the quick split button and then key in how many checks this chit should be split into. Hit OK and you'll be taken to this grid 
where the first member is already selected and you need to key in who the two members or however many members you've selected are that are splitting this check. To do that, click on the first box that says CHIT2 and then key in the member number. Then click on the box that says CHIT3 and key in that member number. Once you've filled out all the boxes that are available to you, you can hit either split the CHIT or split and print which will split copies of each new check. Hitting split the CHIT will take you back to your table layout which you'll see now the table has multiple checks on it. You can click on them and you'll see each member listed here at which point you can click on that member and see they have a portion of everything that was on the check, the portion depending of course on how many checks you've decided to split into. You do have the ability to add, remove, and edit items on this split check and you can split it again or combine it with other checks. The quick percent split is used to split a check up to 25 different ways but not evenly. To use it, click on Quick Percent Split, then key in how many checks you'd like this to split into. You will now be presented with this grid, which shows you the member or guest name, and the percent of the check that they receive. The member that was originally signed to the check will always be up at the top, but then you'll have an open number of boxes for however many checks that you chose to split this into. So to assign the second one, click on CHIT2 and then key in the paying member for chit number two. Then you'll see the percent option open up. Click on that, and then you can key in the percent that that person is responsible for. By default, the other percentage that has been selected, the one at the very top, will adjust as well. Assign chit number three by either keying in a member number or hitting okay for the guest. And then once again, click on the percent to assign the percentage that this person is responsible for. You'll see now since I've assigned number two this amount, these two will automatically change based on what I key in here. You can continue to change these percentage by clicking on that percent button and then keying in new percentages which will adjust the other two. When you're ready and you've got your percentages correct, hit split the chit or split in print and you'll see that check go into three different portions all with their individual percentages and you can go back into those checks and edit, settle, or split, or recombine again. The split by amount button allows you to split a check up to 16 different ways and decide how much of the check by dollar value goes on to each split chit. To use it, click on split by amount, then choose how many chits you want to split into. You will then be asked who the second member on the check will be, the first one being the member that the check was rung in under. Key in the member number or hit OK to do a non-member and then enter in the amount for the second member. The amount going to the first member will automatically calculate based on what you've chosen as the second amount and when you're ready hit split. You'll see now this table has multiple checks on it the first amount being on that member that you selected, the remaining amount going to the member that was originally on the check. From here, you would come in and settle this check, but you cannot edit or add new items to it. If you are not looking to split the check between two members or a member and a guest, but are just looking to split the amounts or methods of payment, you can do that without using a split button. So if this member, for example, wants to pay with $20 on a Visa card and the rest to his account, all you have to do from within the chit is click on the Visa button, clear the calculator by using this button here, and then keying in the amount that he wishes to put on his Visa, so in this example we'll use 20, hit OK and you'll see a $20 Visa payment be applied to the total balance of the check, at which this point you can now click on Member Charge and charge the rest.